this week we're doing some lab work with elastic energy and so we're going to do uh, one lab where we're going to give you a choice between three different systems to pick either any one that you choose you're still doing the same lab and so you take that equipment and you're still testing the same idea how does the amount of elastic energy we put into the device affect the amount of kinetic energy that comes out that's the experiment let me show you those three systems though you have to choose from in the first system you need a spoon a ruler and a cotton ball and you're going to use the ruler to gauge how far you're pulling back the spoon as you press it against the table you hold the spoon against the table you put the cotton ball in the spoon you pull it back and you see how far the cotton ball goes another system might involve a rubber band and a ruler and then a meter stick to measure the distance. We hook the rubber band on the ruler, we can measure how far we pull the rubber band back, and we let it go to shoot it. The other is a rubber ball and a meter stick. You drop the rubber ball from different heights and see if that affects how high it bounces back up on its bounce, on its first bounce. Once you've chosen which system you're going to do, you conduct the experiment and you'll fill in the data table and graph the data and answer the question with uh, that system. Because each of us might be doing a different system, the lab report is a little bit blanker than you're used to. You're going to have to figure out how to fill in the titles and headers of the data table and the graph yourself. But I think at this point, you should be able to do that. You're just comparing it to the other labs that you've done in the past the same way where we filled those things in.